Bismillahirrahmanirrahim and assalamu alaikum everyone. Uh, welcome back to Corporate Governance. Today we are going to go on another journey and this journey is very important. We are going to talk about the Securities and Exchange Commission Code uh, which basically emerged in 2019 and is uh, basically for uh, listed companies. Uh, this is a very important code because this is about the future of corporate governance and we see that uh, it has changed uh, radically and also uh, for the better and we see that uh, the role of the Securities Exchange Commission of Pakistan is also enhancing, uh, is also uh, being uh, implemented through a very professional approach and we see uh, that through different matrices, through different frameworks, through different regulations and uh, through uh, different uh, contextualization uh, of global corporate governance, we see uh, that SECP is emerging as a facilitatory and regulatory body for corporate governance in Pakistan. Uh, the Securities Exchange Commission of Pakistan uh, has uh, gained uh, great credibility through uh, a very non-discriminatory, unbiased and professional approach. Today, we're going to talk about the SECP code and it's going to be part one. We divided this into two sessions. And in the first one, what we see is, is that on September 25, 2019, SECP issued the Listed Companies Regulation 2019 under the powers conferred under Section 156 of Companies Act 2017. The 2019 code is based on a comply or explain approach, which is a new governance regimen in Pakistan. Just like I was saying, it is radical, uh, it is positive, it is progressive, and it is facilitatory, uh, giving the companies space, but yet also ensuring that they do not tend to uh, go uh, out of control or tend to excessively exploit uh, their own uh, business concerns uh, and business products. So we see that this is a very good, uh, positive, healthy development which has taken place in the corporate governance sector within Pakistan. We see that in the past, 2002, 2012 and 2017 codes were based on the mandatory approach. Uh, the flexibility allows organizations to think out of the box as an alternate course of action could be followed while ensuring transparency. So again, the, let's like I was mentioning that there is flexibility and within that flexibility, there is also this insurance that uh, there should be transparency and this has been uh, greatly appreciated by the corporate sector, especially the listed companies to which this tends to apply. It should be the responsibility of board of directors of listed companies to use, uh, comply or explain principle wisely. Responsibilities of investors to assess differing company approaches Thoughtfully, 2019 code is applicable to listed companies only. There are three types of provisions in the code, mandatory, non-mandatory, and recommendary. So again, what we see is, is that more empowerment has been given to the board, and the board basically has to ensure either compliance or has to explain why it is not being done, what are the basic reasons, and then uh, we see that there are certain things which are mandatory, non-mandatory, and there are recommendatory. And we'll move on just to see uh, that uh, what are the different mandatory pro provisions. Uh, the number of uh, directorship, uh, the number of independent directors, female director inclusion has been made mandatory, executive director is there, the audit committee, very powerful committee. Uh, we also see that the terms of appointment of the uh, external auditor have been more clearly uh, emphasized upon. The rotation of auditors is very important. The compliance uh, statement and auditor review is very important. Uh, we see that uh, the penalty is limited uh, basically to mandatory provisions only and there is a relaxation from requirements of 2019 code. So again, uh, these developments have taken place and they are all mandatory positions. So again, ladies and gentlemen, we see that through uh, this particular code, the listed companies have been given flexibility, have been empowered uh, and again, the board can either comply or they can give an explanation for that. Uh, many new dimensions have emerged, some are mandatory, some are non-mandatory, while some are recommendary. But overall, this is a breath of fresh air uh, in the corporate governance sector of Pakistan. Thank you so much.